best graphite miners on the ASX have risen between 25 and 111% over the last month. We're having a look at the top six graphite, graphene and graphite related companies on the ASX to highlight these top six. We're also going to drill down to the correlations of these companies to understand how they're moving as a group because we're connecting the leading market themes and the top performing companies for better trading, which is what we do on finer market points. You can like the video to support the channel, click subscribe for updates, or comment below to let us know which graphite miners you're trading. Now, when we have a look at graphite miners, we can't go any further than the two big names, Novanix and Zero Resources, have been the two best performers over 2021. We started 2022 with a bang in a similar fashion to lithium companies that we raised yesterday. They've also shot the lights out and started running out of the gates. Now, we've reached the recent these two companies in the top six this week as well or this month as the best performers and we're going to have a look at them in order and also their correlations because what we find with these leading companies is that they don't just move by themselves when one of them starts to break the other ones follow as well and that's the leading thematic that really push on to the best performances we had a look at this in detail with lithium companies and uranium companies throughout 2021 and we'll be doing the same as they roll on through 2022 now, starting off with the sixth best performer is Novanix, which has been one of the best names. Here we have on the left-hand side, we've got Novanix. This is the daily chart, and we've got the 200-day moving average, the 50 and the 10-day being these three lines highlighted. On the right-hand side, we've got their performances. Critically, the monthly performance is what we're ranking them by. Novanix has put on 24%, and you can see that shoot yesterday, massively breaking overhead resistance and shooting over $10 a share. We have a look at the correlations of Novanix. We can see it's very strong with the other ones that we've already listed. Moving up, we do see 0.8s through to 0.4s, but there's also strong correlations throughout the rest of the group that aren't in the top six. So this is part of our research where we're listing the top companies on the ASX and all of them exposed to graphite. We do see some pockets in here of some other companies that have high correlations. But that's NVX as number six. Moving on up, we've got BKT. Strong correlation with Novanix. We've got 0.84 over the last year. But when we have a look at BKT on the chart side of things, we're going to see that they've put on 34% for the month, 32% for the quarter, and 95% for the year. In comparison to Novanix, it put on over 200% for the year. Not as strong, but still a steady rise up, maintaining a good, strong movement above the 200-day moving average. That's BKT breaking out of the recent highs and doing that yesterday, closing on their highs and also doing it with a decent volume breakout. Good positive movements from a volume price analysis that we want to be seeing. Now we also move on up to have a look at the next best performer, which is Castle Minerals. 36% performance over the month, 94% for the quarter and 138% over the year. A lot of that, as you can see with the quarter numbers, has been in the last few months. Breaking out, and again, not quite closing on the highs, but breaking overhead resistance throughout yesterday's trading session and doing it with a stellar volume breakout, as you can see the candle down the bottom here, or the bar of that volume movement. Looking for CDT, we want to understand the correlations to see how they move and whether the breakouts of NBX and the likes are actually going to help or have shown support throughout the year. Can see CDT has both shown high correlations with the other two that we've listed already, BKT and Ovenix. So these three may be moving together, and it's good to see that support in the group. Now we look at Renascore, which is one of the best performers we've raised and listed over the last 12 months because they just consistently keep shooting the lights out. You see the chart on the left-hand side as being a good, phenomenal runner. Moving from very low levels, looking at here, 1, 1.1 of a cent, quickly moving up to 18 cents. That is what gained us. High and tight flags throughout the way, breaking out, breaking out a high tight flag, and then the third one didn't maintain. But that created a volatility contraction pattern. That's a pattern that we've looked at in great detail from Mark Minivini, and you can click on the link in the description below to see the video and download the walkthrough to see how it applies. We've got the first contraction, the second contraction, and then a very third tight one here. With the volume breakouts of that third contraction, and then also seeing correlations of the P's in that same group, which we're also listing over here, that does give us a good indication of whether that's a trade to take. And you can see RNU has some decent correlations without that, within that group of the top 20-odd, 20 23 graphite miners on the ASX. 
So good, strong correlations from RNU in the group and a breakout to come back up to just near their recent highs, not quite their 52 week high, but did close up on the highs of the trading session. You can see that with the solid green candle there and some volume spikes in recent times, much higher. Not quite what we saw in February last year, but it is a strong candle and a strong volume spike for this time of the year indeed. Moving up to the next one, we've got SYR, a strong performer that's consistently raised. We're going to bring this chart out two years so you can see that performance and how it has risen and consistently brought in new traders on a day trading and short-term trading movement as this worked through a VCP that we can see here. And then another VCP coming in, breaking the downtrend resistance. It did gap up significantly, but when we zoom in here, we'll see there's opportunity there to create that position springs off the lows turning around from a Wyckoff perspective you can have a look at that trading strategy that we've drilled down in detail along with the download to understand how that strategy works but it has moved and gapped up what Gil Morales and Chris Karcher call a Bible gap up we do see that movement there huge breakout massive true range from the previous close and that is SYR moving from the 120 range up towards two dollars in the recent close looking at their correlations for the other ones Less of a strong correlation that we saw with the first three, BKT, Novanix, and CDT Castle. But there are still some reasonable correlations within that group. Now we move on up to the top performer, QGL Quantum. 111% gain for the month and the quarter and the year. We're going to have a look at the chart to understand why and how that happens. You will see a recent listing coming to the boards just recently, and that movement shows and really skews the numbers. That's got it first first ranked for this month, and that's how Iris is charting the performances, and that's how we've ranked them here today. But they are a recent listing, and that's what we really want to be looking at. It's a great time to come on the boards as an IPO with huge performances for that sector or that group, and the peers putting on good, strong runs on the board, as we've seen here with these leaders that have been a strong movement within this thematic over the last 12 months. Quantum's come to the boards as the leaders in the graphite space have been putting on good, strong performances, and then that helps them shoot out of the gates with a reasonable listing and maintaining their opening price. This is finer market points where we're connecting the leading market themes. What we also do is bring out a series of videos, Fridays and Saturdays, surfacing the companies that are rounding out bottoms like we're here with Novanex, see here with Novanex. What we're doing is that's called a high velocity company. As we see, they're moving through the ranks. We're building out the basing pattern. What's happening is they're not falling. They're not rising just yet. But throughout this accumulation phase, this is where we see them high velocity companies moving up the ranks. And that's what we're surfacing because when we overlay this with a strong thematic and strong correlations, we do find phenomenal trading opportunities like what we see here that really do push on and lead the market higher with fast paced rapid moves and as we've got mining companies on the ASX running hot it is a strong one to look at We're also consistently surfacing the leading themes through other shares and play videos and then trading opportunities with Gary Glover so you can click on the links and the other ones other playlists on our channel to keep across those <laughs>